Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Hestlers from Matt Hessler. Hey, so this is a pretty cool uh, deck of cards that's been out on the market for a while. Matt designed these using the Maiden back image. And he has a couple of uh, really cool uh, new additions, perhaps, to the standard deck of playing cards that I think you'd be interested in. Hey, first of which, uh, Matt's goal was to make these cards good quality. Quality for magicians, quality for people who like to play cards, quality for people who like to play poker or card games or solitaire or even people who like to, you know, do flourishing. Uh, he gave this deck the most visually playable design possible while also keeping what you and I would consider to be traditional bicycle standards that most people love. He wanted this deck to look as if the design could have been introduced even 100 years ago, but also while making it a new and cutting edge deck. And I think what he would say is that he would want to make a deck that people would go back to time and time again. A deck that people would actually use and not just keep in a box. And uh, I think that they're unique enough that people who uh, are card collectors and people who are card enthusiasts would be excited to have this deck and to even possibly you know, show it off to some of their friends. The front of the tech case is almost really close to a regular bicycle standard. It does say bicycle across the top and then trusted since 1885. You have the nice big exploded pip there and it says Hessler's right there underneath. And then it says enhanced playing cards. This side says superior grade paper and finish. This side says four color suits and made in back. The bottom has some ad copy about Matt Hessler. Uh, the back of the tuck is actually the face of the court cards. You have a standard USPCC uh, deck seal, right? And then it says poker size and color face. The inside tuck flap has some ad copy about the United States Playing Card Company, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on their casino grade stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossed. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. All right, so as far as how the cards handle, how thick they are, when I measure these cards out with a caliper, uh, they come to a measurement of 2.95. Now that's 10 cards measured into a caliper, comes to 2.95, and 2.90 is kind of the new standard for uh, B Casino uh, decks. You know, in the past they used to be a little thicker, but now uh, I think Bicycle allows for a 2.90 to be considered a casino grade stock. So these are gonna be the same thicknesses as the Royal Pulp deck that United States Playing Card Company also printed. Uh, the Male Chimp deck is the same uh, thickness as this. Uh, the Green Gator backs and the Carpe Noctum uh, decks are all uh, the same thickness. One of the cool things about the back design is not only is it the Maiden back, but it also has uh, some coloring accents to it. So the like winged pixies or mermaids, whatever they are in the corner, uh, they have green bottoms and yellow tops. The maiden that's standing in the field of grass, she has some um, colors uh, in the top and bottom. And then even the hearts along the sides are colored as well. And it is a very nice uh, alternative back design to the standard rider back. With this deck, you're gonna get two extra cards. Uh, one of them is a rules card for how to play the game of hearts, and that's very nice. And the other one is a blue-backed uh, maiden card uh, with a little poem of inspiration uh, from Matt Hessler. So I think right away with this deck, you're gonna notice two important things. Uh, the first of which is, this is a four-color deck, meaning every single one of the suits is a different color. So the clubs in this deck are green, and the hearts are red and the spades are blue and the diamonds are yellow. The other thing you're gonna notice is that along the sides, the long sides, the long edges of the deck, uh, you will see in a script writing the name or title of the cards. So in other words, if you have the six of clubs, you'll see the pips and indices in the, in the corners, but then if you turn it on its side and you were to fan it sideways or to spread it sideways, you would see a written script that actually spells out six of clubs. With this deck, you're also gonna get two additional uh, interesting gaff cards. Uh, one is a Jack of Diamonds and the other is a Queen of Spades. They're a little bit different colored, but the other thing that makes them unique is the scripting on the side. So the Queen of Spades on its side says the Black Maria, and the Jack of Diamonds on its side says the Omnibus Knave. 
Your Ace of Spades uh, looks pretty standard. It says bicycle right up there at the top and then MMXV in Roman numerals. Underneath that, it says Hessler's, Matt Hessler, and has some ad copy about the United States Playing Card Company. Uh, the figure inside of the spade pip is a skeleton in a prayer posture. The other interesting thing I think Matt would want you to know is about the Ace of Hearts. So on the Ace of Hearts, there is a couple of extra symbols on there, not just the heart uh, pip there in the center. Um, that is the original USPC tax stamp on the Ace of Hearts, which uh, in the past, the governments would put a tax stamp on that card uh, throughout history. So that uh, makes it kind of unique and kind of special. All right, so that is my review of the Hessler's deck from Matt Hessler. And if you'd like to purchase this deck, I'll include some links below in the description. As always, I would recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. I would also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.